Ay. Face out. Face out. <laughs> and the new Fairway World Champion, March next year. Mark my words. That ain't happening. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. So, um, how is it balancing both title belts while also competing inside the um, the, the tournament? Um, I know it's my um, better form. I have it. 32 years old now, but I'm a little old. So uh, after uh, I won't like that, I need some rest, but I'm feeling good. Uh, for Pedro, uh, do you feel now, over here, do you feel now more excited by this matchup and maybe more motivated that the champion picked you instead of the guy that was calling him out to go out and make a statement? I mean, I feel like a kid in Christmas, you know? I know a date when I'm gonna become world champion, so I'm pretty happy. But uh, in one of of the name itself, like I've said before, I see no names, I see no faces. When I'm inside of the cage, I'm just the hunter. And the other side of the cage is the prey. Mark my words, in March, I will shock the world. Pedro over here, to your left. Did you expect Pitbull to pick you for the quarterfinal match? I don't know, like, I was the last one to pick, you know, so, and I saw his interview that he, he wants some time. So I was kind of strategically, like, put myself on Mars, and I like, who know if he picked me? I don't know why he picks me. Maybe he underestimated me. And that was pretty much the story of my life. Since the very beginning of my career, everyone looked down on me. Everyone said that I wouldn't never doing, and just look what I am right now. 24 years of age, I will become world champion, mark my words. And Patricio, um, your fight with Juan Archuleta tonight went, uh, went the distance. Were you surprised by that? Were you surprised that you took all your shots? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I know his, his stuff. I knew it was a... Uh, uh, Yes, yeah, yeah. He knew it was going to be a war. Patricio, for March, you had Pedro and Darian Caldwell available. What decision making went into picking Pedro over Darian? Uh, Caldwell, uh, he's come from two losses. I, I don't like to fight a, a guy like that. So. And then Pedro. Um, what does it mean to you to be facing Patricio in the next round for the featherweight title? I mean, it means great. It means that I'm fighting for a belt. That's the main thing. And second, like, is by far the 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 mo the, the legend in this company in what conserves of featherweight. You know, no one uh, tops him in the featherweight division in this company. So I'm facing the very best featherweight and one of the best in the world. You know what I mean? So. I always said that my main goal is prove that I'm the best in the world. So right now I have the best opportunity in my life to prove to the whole world what I've been said is true, that I'm the best. Petro, question, question for you. Uh, you've, you. You look very confident. What makes you so confident? And the second question is, what do you have new for Pitbull, you know, that other opponent didn't, didn't bring to the cage? So my confidence comes mainly from my work ethic. I work with the best guys in the world. SVG is the best team in the world. So I don't need to speak a lot about that, you know, that's it. And second of all, like, this is my time, you know, I'm on a new level, you know. These guys, like, they don't know who I am. Maybe they know, but they, they make like they don't. But I'm on a new level and fight after fight, that's exactly what I prove.
and that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm I I will never look down on anyone. This this is a fight game. Anything can happen. I'm fighting I'm fighting the best featherweight and one of the best featherweights of all time. And but he never faced a guy like me. I don't know if he knows that, but he never faced no one like me. And on March, I will show him. Be careful! Look at them. I know she has right there. <laughs> ah, there are too many guys tough like you. Everyone. We'll see about you, you that. You are good. I know. I know that. You know what I mean? I'm used to this. I'm used to be underestimated. No. But trust me. No. Trust me. I we'll choose. See. I choose you because you are tough. I hope so. I hope so. I'm. I'm come for war. I'm expecting war, and that's exactly what I'm. I'm looking for. Okay. Pitbull, he's he's obviously very confident. What what do you hear when he's speaking confidently? Do you hear a, a real challenger? Or do you hear someone who's trying to convince you that he's going to be a tough fight? Uh, no, it looks like it's 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 real. Uh, he's he's confident. I like that. We are warriors. It's normal here. What did both of you feel about the format? How did you think it played out compared to your expectations? I think like. In, in, in my personal opinion, this is the best thing that, that that any anyone in MMA could do. You know, in my opinion, this is it. You know, because the hype boys and the real man get separated in this kind of format. You know, because in a in a regular format, you know, the hype boys go around, they fight with pick and pick guys, and they keep bragging my, themselves as they are the best. In this thing. Only the best comes on top. Only the real man comes on top. So, in my opinion, this this, this is great, you know, because in this we can see who's the man and the boys. Pitbull, do you want to answer, and then we'll square you guys off. What was your question again, Drew? I was wondering about really the selection part of the format. The selection. What, what did you feel about that? That fight is gonna be the first step to put Pitbull Brothers against SBG. I want you to do that war. So that's the idea. That's beginner. All right. What's where you guys are? And the new featherweight world champion, March next year. Mark my words. Alright, thank you guys. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. <laughs>